Hi, welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to create a free online survey maker so you can start gathering all that feedback right away. Now, one of the cool parts about Job Form is that there's tons of templates for surveys. Now, if you guys would like to jump into this link, that will be available here on the top or in the description. Now, let's have a look into this page where you can get started right away. Now, if you want to go jump into create your survey, just go ahead and click on this button. Let's go ahead and view some of the templates that are available. And just heads up, there's over 280 plus templates for surveys available. Now you can view up three right here that are available, remote life survey, employee motivation survey, technology survey. And if you like one of these, we can use the template right away and customize it to our liking. Now, if you want to use this for students, there's a program available for free online survey tool for students. If you want to jump into that program, like I said before, that link will be available on the top or in the description. Now let's, let's pretend we like one of these templates and let's go ahead and use this one, for example. Now, you can get started right away and create it like this. Now, things that you have to know is that on the left, we have our elements section. This is where we drag and drop our elements on our form right here for survey. And if we click on any element on the survey that's available, we have this little gear button for properties that we can open up and we can edit. So for example, this is the title and we can edit what it says right here. Maybe this is not a remote life survey. This is a, for example, a service survey, just for example, right there. We can add a subheading if we like. Now, if we click on another element, we can go right ahead and edit that one also. So for example, this is a drop down element right here. Let's open it up. It's single choice properties. So in this case, we can edit these properties by clicking on them and changing them. So for example, if we wanted two years instead of one, we can just edit that right away. It's super easy. Now let's go ahead and drag and drop, for example, full name. We want to add that there. Let's add, let's see, we have the email address right here. Uh, no email address. So let's drag the email address right there. It's super easy. Now there's elements that are based for surveys. So let's scroll down on the elements down here. And we have three type of survey elements, which is input table, star rating, and scale rating. Now we're viewing some of them right here, but let's go ahead and drag, drag and drop these three down here. So let's drag that one, star rating. Okay, and scale rating. Now we have these three available and we can edit these and customize them to our liking. So for example, if you don't like what it says, we can go ahead and click on them and just start typing right over it or delete what we have. We can get rid of a field if we don't, if we have too many and we don't need them. We can change the type of satisfaction to say something else if we need it. Plus, we have the customizations on the right. So for example, we have the general. In this case, it says type question. We can edit that to something else like answer question. And we can change the alignment set as a form default. We can make it required or not. Um, this is really interesting because maybe you want you want them to actually have it required and fill that out. They can't skip it. In this case, if we say no, they can skip it. We have the fields right here available. So for example, for this type of element, we can change the input type. Right now it's radio button. It can be a checkbox. See how it's a square now. It could be a drop down if we needed to put more input information. Text box or we can keep it like this. We'll use the square one, a little bit more modern. And we can change the type of information that we have right here. For example, numeric, currency, multi-type, and we can set them however we want to use them. Now the rows, we can edit them physically on the survey right here, or we can set the rows right here information for rows and columns. We have more options available right here for table width, column width, and the advanced options right there. Now let's go jump into the star rating one. So let's click on properties again. Let's go into our options. And for example, here we have five stars. We can change this to, for example, hearts, light bulbs, lightning. And if we needed to have this 10 rating instead of just five, well, we can edit the rating amount right there. Let's go into the other one, which is scale rating. Again, let's open up the properties for this one. Go to options. For now, we have five. We can change it again to whatever we want, but let's choose 10. And it says from worst to best. Now we can edit that if it's something else that you might need. So for example, how do you feel? Well, good or bad. It could be, you could change that to your liking. That's all this is super easy and intuitive to create your online survey. Now let's go into settings. Here in settings, we have a lot of information that we have available. For example, the form settings, we have show more options if you need to add more. 
the emails, who is this going to be sent out to. Conditional logic is available also, depending on what they answer, what they select. If the the uh, the form is uh, a field is empty, well, you can display something else. And all this is available with conditional logic. Also change the thank you page at the end. So for example, if everything's filled out, maybe you can send them a coupon or give them a discount or, or say, that's great, right? Because it's a different thank you page based on the answers that you received. Now we have the thank you page, which is the default one that you can edit here. All that's also available, you can edit by here, that. Integrations, many integrations are available. Zoom, Google Sheets, PayPal, MailChimp. You can send this to your CRM, to your marketing service, to a lot of things right here. And there's lots of them available. We can go to the approval flows. Now this is new with Jot Form, and this is really cool because you can have your survey pass through an approval with this flow. What does that mean? Well, when someone fills out a survey, you can have it approved or not. Maybe it, it wasn't filled out completely and you don't want to approve it. Well, this would be helpful. Mobile notifications, that's available also. And we have the publish settings. Now, it's really easy. Here's the link that's available right now. If we open it up, open it up in a new tab, we have our survey. Let's go ahead and open it. And here's the survey we just created. There we go. And here's the link. We can copy this link and start sharing it right away. We can send it out by email. We can share the form to view the options. We can embed it on our site. So for example, these are the embed options. So you can use source code, iframe, feedback button, pop-up, or light box. There's also the assigned form and the email reminders. PDF, if you want to create that, and third-party platforms. Now here is where you can use these platforms to embed it really easy and really fast. Let's just say you want to embed this on Wix because that's what you're using, or Blogger, Tumblr, there's many, many sites right here, Webly type of systems, and they help you out with the settings. If I choose WordPress, well, here's the information for WordPress. Now, this is the other type of WordPress. Let's go back. If you wanted to use, for example, Blogger, well, here's the information to do it on Blogger. You got the settings for each one. Now, like I mentioned before, it's super easy to get started. There's tons of templates, and let me show you those templates right now. So let's go into our job form dashboard. Let's go create a form, use a template, and we're gonna over to survey templates. There's over 539 templates available. Now you can view these templates. So for example, if you want to get started right away and save some time, maybe you want to use it for a student survey. Well, that's already created. Let's go ahead and preview it. We can check this out, see the questions, see what they're asking. And you can say, hey, you know what? This looks really similar to something I already need. So I can just go right ahead and use this template or I can go back and say, you know what? Maybe let's check out this one. School withdrawal survey. You can check it out. Okay. I like the colors. I like how it works. And again, I can edit all of this. And if I like it, I use a template. And it's just gonna load it up. And again, get started with our elements. Go ahead and edit all of this. This could be just, you know what? Let's just keep survey, all right? We don't want all that information. This is about students. This is not going to be optional. It's gonna be required. So let's go make it required right now. There we go, we got that little red star right there and now it's required. And we can customize those templates really fast and really easily. Well, that is how you create your free online survey maker on JotForm. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials. Bye-bye.